Hello and welcome back to Prodigy Math. So we are here, I am doing this during Summerfest, so I am battling my Apple Pot before we head back to Skywatch and go find Gramps. So let's go ahead and begin our battle today. We are still looking at data relationships. Hello Apple Pot, it's so good to see you. Alright. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and check out what is going on here in Prodigy. So this is how many students picked a rabbit. So the smiley face equals one student. Make sure you double check that. That is one, two, three, four, five, six picked rabbit. It, make sure you have it read out loud if there is anything that you cannot hear or don't understand. Okay, so woohoo, got that one right. Alright, and 28, 44 points of damage, that is awesome, Forest Hurricane comes, 2,085 points of damage, that's a nice one, Apple Pot, way to go. Alright, Falling Star Smash, how many students picked reading? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a, fi a smiley face equals 1 student, so 6 students picked reading. All right, good, good. And down it comes. Very cool, that is Apple Pot. So we are gonna be looking at data relationships today. We might continue this into the next video as well. Um, and as we look at the third grade, we're reviewing the second grade a little bit. So a couple more stars. Apple Pot should hit 65 today, I think, which will be exciting for him. I'm sure he's gonna enjoy that. All right, so we have our 10 sand dollars, which is awesome. Pretty soon, I think we'll be going on a little shopping spree. Um, and let's go ahead and see how much currency we have. We have 73 sand dollars, so we should be able to go ahead and uh, spend a little bit of sand dollars, go a little sand dollar crazy. So we're 75% done with Skywatch now. Newt, thank you for letting me know that. And let's go ahead and click on over here. And we'll head on over to Skywatch, helping Broccolina and Benny. Let's go ahead and talk to uh, Benny today. It's time for you to meet Gramps. Tell him about those nasty clouds. We, I will do that, Benny. I will do He's that. the Cloud Master General. He'll know what to do. Cloud Master General Gramps. He sits around all day in the factory in that massage chair. That's not a bad gig there, is it? Okay, let's hop on over here. And we're going to head towards the factory. Trying to figure out how we can stop these machines. So let's come on up. Now we'll go inside the factory door. All right, and ooh, that is really cool. That is a really cool monster. So, and here. Oh, you pesky robots! Leave me be. We oh. better help him out. Okay, let's go ahead and help Gramps out. And here we are coming up for a save Eugene battle with the BitBots. Okay, so Supernova, here we come. How much would these fruit cost in total? So, the $1 coin is equal to $1. So how much would all of these fruits cost? Uh, we have three plus four, that would be seven. And then one more would be eight. So it would be eight dollars to get one apple, two oranges, three bananas, and a mango. Unless that is the price of the fruit. Then we would be getting four fruit. All right, up it goes, up it goes, and let's see what we do with our bit box. These guys are pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like I think we should have enough uh, mana for three AoE attacks, and if we can do that, then we should be wrapping this battle up in three attacks. What is the total number of students in this group? Each smiley face represents five students. So we're going to have to do a little bit of multiplication here. So we're looking at the to total number of students. So we have one, two, three four, five, six smiley faces, six smiley faces, times five, that is going to be uh, counting on by fives. So let's go ahead and get our nickels out here. We have, just put them down just like the graph here. 
And so we're just going to count on by fives for this. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So that would be 30, or 6 times 5 is 30. Uh, whichever way you're able to do, and then definitely practicing that multiplication and those multiplication facts will be so helpful when you get to 4th grade. If you have those multiplication facts locked down when you get to 4th grade, man, 4th grade math is fun. Alright, so we're going to switch things up here a little bit, because I think I do want to go ahead and get this little Bitcoin. Ooh, haha, we saw the monster inside. Um, let's do... It's not giving me an opportunity to do that, though, so we'll just go with Supernova. One more AoE. From the graph, determine how many more people picked hockey than soccer. So hockey is here. And we follow this line down. That's 13 people. Soccer, that is 3 people. So 3 minus... Th or 13 minus 3, that is going to be 10 people. There's a difference of 10 people between soccer and hockey. All right, up it comes, up it comes, and boom. And I think that gets all of them. Yep, it looks like we are good to go. See you later, guys. They've got some long legs, don't they? All right, 32 battle stars. Nice. So Apple Pot just hit level 66 as well. That is great. 15 member stars each. Let's open up our chest. Very cool. So we have three more sand dollars. Loving these sand dollars. Hi now. A wizard, are you? Pleasure to meet ya. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you, too. The name is Eugene Grant, otherwise known as the All-Powerful Cloudmaster. Hello. Oh, uh. Hello, All-Powerful Cloudmaster. Cloudmaster General. That's right, Cloudmaster General. So, I bet them clouds have my grandkids running wild, huh? Yes, they do. Every time those two scamps get arguing, I send out my clouds. Thing is, they never realize it's me what does it. <laughs> Pretty tricky. Tell Benny to give you the master key. It's time for the finale of my little prank. Okay. All finished. Let's head back, okay? Yep, let's head back, Newt. Yeah, let's go back to Benny. Wow, what a champ! Thank you, thank you, Benny. So we got 200 gold and a winged helm. That looks pretty cool. That would look uh, like a nice match for uh, our armor. You want the key, Benny? See, we had the key, but uh, we uh, broke it! Oh no, you guys. I'm pretty sure the pieces are around here somewhere. Looks like we're going on another puzzle. Another hunt. Let's go ahead and share that with the buddies. And Wait. come on over this way. Alright, so we're going to make our way down and around. I think we do have to uh, battle squawks. We're not going to get around squawks. Alright, so Falling Star Smash, here we come. How many fewer orange cars than red cars are there in the parking lot? So orange, this is all labeled by the color. Orange has five. Red has 16. So 16 minus five, that's going to give us 11. There's a difference of 11. So there are 11 fewer orange cars. Woohoo! 28, 36 points of damage. That is awesome. Ion Cannon coming at us. And it hits for 1585 points of damage. Falling Star Smash, here we come. What is the most popular food in the graph? So both pasta and salad are tied at 16 votes. So pasta and salad are the most popular food in the graph. So they beat out pizza, hamburger, and hot dog. That is some healthy children, which I love to hear that. All right. 2846. Oh, so close to sending squawks away. So close. Here comes Ion Cannon. And boom, 1586 points of damage. Falling Star Smash. Here we go. What is the least popular animal in the graph? So sorry, dog. 
you didn't get any votes for favorite animal. That, that just breaks my heart. That breaks my heart. Give your dog a hug. Find your dog and just give it a hug. That is all. Oh, nightmares. Gonna give me nightmares. I'm having palpitations over here. Alright, so... 11 battle stars. And get a little bit more. Open this up. Ooh, looks like we got a tooth. Got a tooth, 100 gold coins, one sand dollar, morph mar marble misteel, and arrows. All right. Let's make our way around. I think we can go ahead and do this. Okay, oh, there is the key part. Okay, so we're going to be getting into two battles here before we uh, get this. There's two parts to the key. Um, and so I think we're going to go ahead and fight this guy. And let's see. It's a Lumiat. Alright, so start out with Supernova. Soften him up a little bit. How many books did Eric read in a week? So books read in a week. Eric is here. Eric read 18 books in one week. That is pretty good. That is pretty good. Way to go, Eric. He takes his uh, quiet reading time seriously and must enjoy reading with his family at home. Critical hit for our, our little guy over there. Alright, Lumiat is... is Unleashing Ion Cannon, 1698 points of damage. Uh, Falling Star Smash we're coming at. In the graph below, how many people picked chocolate? So chocolate is purple. Chocolate is right here. And four people picked chocolate. Cast our spell. Woohoo! And let's see. That was the end of Lumia. So, here is Luminite with Ion Cannon, boom, 1702. And we can rescue Luminite, but I think we already have one. Click the graph to plot the data points from the table. So science, we have four students that say science is their favorite subject. Math, we have eight. Gym, we have 10. History, we have one. Okay, all of them are interesting. It would be hard to do that survey. 2842 points of damage. We will see you later, Luminite. And we won. 21 battle stars. All right. 10 member stars. Two. Let's open it up. Okay, we got a morph marble in there. 200 gold coins, two copper coins, two sand dollars, a morph marble brawl, and arrows. All right, let's make our way over here. And let's go ahead and have this battle. Is our wizard battle with our cloaker. Ooh, what is that guy behind? Supernova to start out with. Click on the graph where you would look to read the numbers for each color bar. So the numbers are listed here. This is where we would read the numbers as we are reading the graph. The color would be the names of colors. The box of crayons would let us know what the graph is about. All right, some pretty good damage there. I don't want to send the Casper, <laughs> Casper away. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, Cloaker with an A with uh, I don't, I haven't rescued you. Okay, I guess I haven't rescued Cloaker. So yeah, let's go ahead and rescue Cloaker. All right, so. What does the y-axis scale start at? So the y-axis scale. So here is our x-axis. Here is our y-axis. X goes along horizontal. Y goes up vertical. Let's go ahead and click on this and see what it says. Look at the very bottom of the scale and find the first number that is listed on the axis. So it starts at zero. So let's go ahead and click that. Ooh. 
Yeah, we'll be getting into x-axis, y-axis a little bit more once we get fourth grade content, I believe. But this is a little, little dabble do ya. Alright, we got a Cloaker. And Tempest. Ooh, Snowling Ball. Ooh, and Tempest missed. Alright, let's go ahead and come on in with Falling Star Smash. There are three rows of six desks in your room. How many desks are there? Okay, so there are three rows, and they have six desks. What's the total? That's going to be three times six, or... It's been a while since I've done repeated additions, so let's just go ahead and write this out. Three groups of six. Three rows of six. So six plus six plus six. So six plus six, we know that's twelve. So that's going to be twelve when we add these two up. So we need to do twelve plus 6. Add these guys together. 12 plus 6. That is going to be 2 plus 6 is 8 plus 10. 18. Alright, so 18 is 3 rows of 6 or you can just do 3 times 6 if you're comfortable with those math facts. Okay, spell power bonus. Bam. So I guess we did not get to collect Tempest, but that's okay. We will get him. We will get him. Okay, and 10 member stars. Awesome. Open up our chest. 100 gold coins, 2 sand dollars, and 20 arrows. And we have the key parts. Awesome. So we are ready to go back, and I'm going to hustle through, hopefully not getting into any battles as we make it across. If we're fast enough, if we're fast enough. Awesome. Okay, so the next part of the key is going to be over this way, and that's going to be our next video. We will uh, solve what's going on, get the key so that we can figure out how to, how to sort this out, with Gramps being... Uh, <laughs> so just, I don't know. So, uh, yeah, the word's not coming to me. But uh, um, Broccolina and Benny, uh, we'll get them sort of sorted as well. And I hope this family just can kind of get together, chill out, relax, and, uh, you know, get back on good terms with everyone. So, um, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. I will be seeing you next time, and I think we will continue on with our data relationships. I don't think that we're quite at the end of it, but we might be. Um, so yeah, hope that you enjoyed, uh, Prodigy. Hope you are enjoying being back in school, everyone. Take care. Have a good day. Keep on prodiging on. Bye-bye.